Hi guys, so today we're diving into the world of a popular investment tool known as money market funds. Now, when I say popular, I mean popular in the general slash professional investment world because as far as I'm aware, it's not as popular just yet in the retail investment sector. I have seen it start being offered to retail investors by a few different platforms though. So whether you're a seasoned investor or you're just getting started, hopefully this video will provide some clarity on what they are, their uses and their pros and cons. So let's kick off. The first thing to go through is what actually is a money market fund. Essentially, imagine a mutual fund, but instead of focusing on stocks or bonds, it focuses on highly liquid instruments, highly liquid near-term instruments, I should say. Essentially, if you want a proper definition, it is a kind of mutual fund that invests in cash, cash equivalent securities, and high credit rating short-term debt securities like US treasuries. Now, the whole purpose of a money market fund is offering investors a safe haven for their cash. So quick liquidity and minimal risk whilst still getting a pretty decent return. The one thing to mention is that they have a fixed price. So unlike many other funds, money market funds tend to stick or do stick to $1 per share. This essentially means that aside from any dividends you might earn, the value of your investment stays the same. So it aims to make sure that you don't lose any money, hence the safe haven. So what are some typical uses of money market funds? They're not very high return, so you might be wondering why people might be investing in them at all. Well, they're not like any other typical investment. You should think of them as a temporary holding stock for your money, as opposed to long-term investments that will appreciate the same way as stocks and shares. The two most common scenarios that you will find is a short-term investment and an emergency fund. So with a short-term investment, imagine you've got a big major purchase coming up and you're putting money aside for it, but you're not quite ready to make the purchase. You don't want to lock your money away. You don't want to invest it. You could then essentially park your money in a money market fund because of its high liquidity and low risk. Now, with an emergency fund as well, this is money that you should have fairly easy access to, but you don't want it to be losing value with inflation. So essentially, if you are putting away an emergency fund, money market funds ensure that your money stays easily accessible whilst also providing you with some return. So you might be thinking, is this a right choice for you? Are money market funds the right choice for you? So whilst many investors find these appealing for short-term goals, you need to consider whether they are right for you. So like I said, these are not suitable for long-term goals. So you don't wanna be using these for things like retirement planning, for example. They just have such limited capital appreciation, it just doesn't make sense to use them for such a scenario. When it comes to short-term planning, like I said before, they are great for short-term investments and short-term planning, but generally it's worth checking to see whether your money would be better off in an easy access savings account. Now, usually money market funds do provide better returns, but it's always do, uh, good to do your own research. So the next thing we're gonna look at are the pros and cons of money market funds. Um, as you know, every investment has pros and cons. But before we do, as we're talking about money market funds, let me tell you about Lightyear, who have just launched money market funds for their users in the UK and some EU countries. Lightyear are this video's sponsor, so thank you to Lightyear for sponsoring this video. Uh, as of the date that this video is being published, they are offering 5.25% on uninvested cash in GBP, and they charge a flat fee of 0.75%. And now, adding money market funds to their stack, Lightyear allows users to earn yield daily, which is close to the real bank rate, and get it paid out on the first day of every month. However, I should note that the interest amount does change daily, so it's not super predictable. So if you live in the UK or one of these countries listed here, unfortunately for me, Poland is not on these countries, you will have access to AAA-rated BlackRock money market funds. 
you can start investing in them from just one pound, euro or dollar. Now with its fast growth across Europe, Lightyear has been getting a lot of buzz around low fee, transparent pricing, diversity of stocks and ETFs, as well as their multi-currency accounts to avoid charging effects rates on trades. So if you do want to add money market funds to your portfolio, feel free to use the link in my description down below or use Panda 10 when you sign up for Lightyear yourself. Please note that this video includes financial promotions and that investing always carries a risk. The value of any investment can decrease as well as increase, so make sure you invest wisely and do your research. Okay, so on to the pros and cons. So first on my list of pros is, like I mentioned, these investments are very low risk. Money market funds invest in high quality short term instruments such as government securities, certificates of deposit and corporate commercial papers. Their conservative investment strategies target preservation of capital. This essentially minimizes the chances of losing your investment capital, making them a relatively safe investment option. The second pro on the list is high liquidity. Due to the short term nature of their investments, money market funds can be easily turned into cash. Most funds allow their investors to withdraw their investments on any business day without penalties. Now, this means that if you need access to your cash quickly, money market funds can offer that flexibility and ease of withdrawal that you may not have with other investments. Now, the third pro on the list is better returns than bank accounts. I mentioned previously just to make sure that you do double check before you invest whether your money would be better off in a savings account. But whilst generally money market funds aren't the highest yielding investments, like I mentioned, they do often provide a much higher return than traditional savings accounts, especially in a rising interest rate environment. So essentially, if you are looking for a place to store your cash and to have a better return than a traditional savings account, but maybe you're not yet ready to invest in stocks and shares, or like I said, you are putting money away for a purchase or an emergency fund, then money market funds could be a good choice. But like I said, everything has its pros and cons. So let's have a look at the cons of money market funds. First on the list is limited growth. Money market funds prioritize preservation over growth. This means that they won't offer the growth potential of riskier assets such as stocks or long-term bonds. So basically, if you are looking to grow your wealth significantly, then money market funds probably aren't for you. The second con to mention is that they are sensitive to interest rate fluctuations. So money market funds can be and usually are impacted by fluctuations in interest rates. So that means that in a falling interest rate environment, the return on money market funds could decrease. This means that your returns could vary. And in some very rare instances, if the returns go too low, the fees of the fund could essentially wipe out your returns. And the final con on my list is monetary policy impact. So central bank policies can influence short term interest rates and by that extension have an effect on money market funds. So essentially, if a central bank adopts a low interest rate policy, the yield on money market funds could be substantially lowered, potentially offering much lower returns. So should you consider money market funds? Now, I think that for short term parking your money and emergency funds, they are a solid choice. They provide the safety and better yield than traditional savings accounts. And they have that high liquidity that you may not have, for example, if you have a savings account without easy access to have the better rates but then you have like your money locked away for 12 months. But do always remember that like with any investment, money market funds are not a one size fits all instrument. Do your research, consult with a financial advisor if you need to, and just make the decision that's right for you. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.